All right, so after the previous play, which was a, kind of a scramble drill that ended up going for a big gain, it was a penalty, second and 27, empty. We're getting a one-high look versus a, uh, an empty set right here. Um, and the uh, there's not a ton to break down the play itself. It's just a quick screen going to the boundary, ends up picking up eight, you know, not a... Um, not an unusual play or anything. Um, you know, someone on TV might look at this and say, wow, that looked really messy. This wasn't a great play. Um, to be honest, it, it, it's really not a bad play. It's, it's, it's relatively well set up. One of the reasons why I like the call is because if you go empty, realistically, you know the linebackers have got to kick to the three receiver side, which is where that guy is. So you've got the two DBs over two, and now you've got to get to the, what we'll call him the will for right now, even though he's lined up in a gap, you know, and that, that guy's pushed, so it's it slid over a little bit. He's the will, even though he's lined up relatively tight for a will. Normally we'd expect the will to be a B gap player, but right now he's an A gap player. So it actually ends up turning out pretty well. And then we see the blocks get set up. He's set up here, right? He's set up there. They got a man on here. They got a hat on here. And it's just, you know, having to pick your way through. Um, you know, the Chiefs do a good job of maintaining leverage on their blocks and trying to fight through pressure. They gain eight. Um, the first thought, or the only thought that I had that I thought was interesting on this play was just defensively, if it's second and 27 and a team lines up and empty, you think it's pretty unlikely that the offense is just going to line up and run an intermediate, the deep passing concept on you and try to pick up a huge chunk. They're probably going to go with something that's a little bit lower risk, um, and the ball's going to come out reasonably quickly, so they can try to get themselves into third and manageable on a, on a low risk, high reward style play, which would be a screen to Christian McCaffrey from an empty set. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. So as a defensive you know, defensive perspective, if I were ever a defensive coordinator in these, you know, unusually long distance situations, I'd be a little hesitant to back up too far and be scared of the deep pass, the more vertical type stuff, just knowing that offensive guys are going to be a little bit more conservative in these situations, uh, which is exactly what you see here. Um, and, you know, while it only gets them eight yards, it does put them into, you know, third and 19, I guess that's better. 